Welcome back I'm from the lunch break, everyone. Council, if you're ready to continue with the witness, please uh, uh, proceed. Good afternoon, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Osha, kindly bring in the witness. Thank you. I Omar Damfa. I Omar Damfa. Interpretation Omar into the microphone, please. Yeah. Into Omar Damfa. I Omar Damfa. Into Omar Damfa. Into Omar Damfa. Do swear. Ben Kalila Ko. I Omar Damfa. Into Omar Damfa. Into Omar Damfa. Do swear. Ben Kalila Ko. Ben Kalila Ko. I'll speak the truth. Mbe Tonya le fola. Mbe Tonya le fola. The whole truth. Tonya damma. Tonya damma. And nothing but the truth. Into fem fola me manke Tonya. Into fem o fem fola na manke Tonya. So help me God. Koto alama ale endema. To alama maru endema. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Danfa. Inyang, Mr. Danfa. Uh, thank you for agreeing to testify before the TRRC. Barakabake, isonta nyami kana kila si diaro di jang TRRC. Today we want to talk about uh, the following subjects. Bi mbelafla min kachala jang walom nyinti. Your biographical information. Uh, and uh, your work as a soldier in the Gambia National Army. Your travels abroad and what you did in those travels. Uh, and when you returned and uh, your foray into Farafenye. I'll rephrase that. Your, the attack you guys uh, launched at Farafenye Barracks. Okay, Your subsequent escape from the territory. And your arrest and deportation to the Gambia from Senegal. The investigations that were carried out against you. And what the things that were done to you in the process. At NIA. NIA. And at the mile two prison. And in mile two prisons. And how you came subsequently to be released from prison. On the impact of all this on your life. And the impact of uh, serving on you of serving time at mile two prison. Mile two prison, and in all this, some of the things that were being said about the Mandinkas in this country. And uh, when you finish, you may be given an opportunity to say a few words 
Yes, I've heard it. And do, do you understand everything that's been said? Yes, I've heard it. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, before you begin your testimony, I must warn you that uh, it is a criminal offense to lie on the oath or to provide false testimony to the commission. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Uh, Mr. Damfa, what are your full names? Mr. Damfa, Tony Kontongo, Mumuniti. Omar Juf Damfaldi. My name is Omar Juf Damfa. Are you known by any other names? Odo Bijeli, kyo kumanu numina. Liberia, kafanya John Damfa. In Liberia, they call me John Damfa. And are you also called by another name? Todo fana Bijeli, kyo kumanu numina. Ani nga into John alone. No, these are the names I know about myself. How did you metamorphose from Omar to John? Laite la kuolu ya ke ye dan kuno nyadi le kabo Omar kana ye John. Ayalon kabrimbe Liberia na operation name la ngoti kar nimko Omar mo balo na ko manka Liberia na ngoti. Well, when I was in Liberia, that was my operational name because if I say Omar, a lot of people will know that I am not a Liberian. And it was important for you to disguise your nationality. And ng silang iti akumate ite le puri kaje ko kela banku yani mfali. Yamanka falu ngoti. No, it's not changing it. Uh, no, it was necessary. It was important for your nationality not to be revealed. Yes, I did it because of that. Okay. In fact, uh, uh, most, if not all, of the Gambians that served uh, in Liberia at that time under the NPFL or so forth uh, took Liberian names. Yes, we were all like that there. So, uh, Omar John, Omar Juf Damfa, John Damfa, or Juf are all names by which you refer to. Omar John Damfa, Omar Juf. Yes, they are all my names. What's your date of birth? 20 June 1964. 20 June 1964. Where were you born? I was born in Jarakanikunda in the LRR region. Ah, tell us about your education. Primary school ke primary school. I attended primary school at the Pakalinding Primary School. Pakalinding mm Secondary -hmm. Technical School. From there, I went to the Pakalinding Secondary Technical School. And you finished in 1980. Yes. What did you do after 1980 when you finished? Not at around the end of the Omar Juf. Then, uh, the man they named me after I went to him. He, he was a plumbing contractor called Omar Juf. What did you go there to do? I went there for him to teach me the art of plumbing. The trade of plumbing. The trade of plumbing, okay. And uh, later, you left his company, correct? Yes, I later left that company. And you enlisted in the, into the Gambia National Army. Yes. Which year was that? The selection was done in 1984. Uh -huh. 
85 lenga training start on the second. We started uh, training in 1985 on the second. Of which month? Karjima. January. January. Uh, and uh, when did you finish training? You train no bangwa tujima. Four months lenga training. We did four months for the training. So that would take you to April uh, 1995, correct? April 1995. Yes, that's what happened. Uh, where, you, where were you deployed upon completion of training? I was with the GNA till August 27th. In 1985. Yes. Uh -huh. Then I later went and uh, joined the Confederal Army. And uh, where were you stationed? They took me to the headquarters in Bakao, opposite the Zandam camp. In 1996, you had the opportunity to go for some training abroad. I Senegal training. Yes, they took me to Senegal for training. Uh, on what? Training. The type of training we had there was various. What did you specially focus on, especially? training mine and explosive karane. Yes, we learned mine and explosives. And, and we also learned how to construct bridges where, uh, uh, in war time, where there is a war, how to cross places with bridges. We also did a commando training there. And uh, when you finished your training, where were you deployed? I came back to the Confederal Army again. And uh, did you return to your parent unit later? Mm -hmm. Yes, I went back to the headquarters again. And uh, what happened after that? I came back in 1990. Uh, mm -hmm. If I can remember, in 1997. September, September, another move back to GNA again. In September, I went back again to the GNA. For two years like a, a confederal. I spent two years at the confederal uh, uh, unit. And then? A cola. Another tragedy. I was there. Uh, then they took me to Farafenye. What year? Sanju Malo, what year? 1989. That was in 1989. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Damfa, you seem to be going back in terms of the years. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, we, have, we have gone as far as 1997. Mm -hmm. when, when you were uh, deployed back to the federal. Mm -hmm. Confederal Army, and then in 1997 September, you you were redeployed to your parent it's unit. Sorry, 87, not 97. Sorry. Okay. Mm, All sorry. right. All right. Mm, in fact, 87. Okay. In fact, uh, yes, there was no confederation in 1995, mm, mm. 1996. Mm. Uh, so uh, let's let's take it back. Huh? Uh, you were deployed, posted to Confederation in 1985-86, right? Yeah, to, up to 87. Huh? Up to 87. 87 okay. Okay. Yes, up to 87. I left so, that place in 1987. Okay, so 1987 you were, uh, you were returned to your parent company. 1987, I was taken back to GNA. Yes, I was taken back to GNA. And you discharged from the army in 1990. 
Natabo soldier in 1990. 1990, Yes, I, I left the army in 1990. You only did six years. Sanji Woro. Sanji Woro. Five years. Five years. Huh? January 1995 to 1990. January 1995 to 1990. What did you do when you left the army? Since I left the army, I was just sitting down without a job. Mm -hmm. And then? Okola. Mm. Uh huh. December 1991. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now, Barendindo Mela, Dudu Sanyang. Well, I had a niece called Dudu Sanyang. Mm hmm. What did I enter in the school? He came and found me in my compound at Tanji. He told me, Swandi Kamara. He told me that there was somebody in Ivory Coast called Dr. Mani. He said he wanted to have ex servicemen. He has a company and he wants those people to work for him. But I was not ready to go. But because of my needs, because we were very well used to each other, and there was a big respect between us, then I later decided uh, to, 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 to join them. And this Dr. Mane, is he known by another name? Silangin Dr. Mane, Todo Baleka Kumandimina. He's, uh, initially, we call him Dr. Mane, but when I arrived in Liberia, that's the time I came to know that he is Kukoi Sambasanyang. And Kukoi Sambasanyang uh, of, of the 1981 uh, disasters, uh, coup attempt in Nigeria. And Kukoi Sambasanya, Wolom in nineteen eighty one, Kudeta Minketanunga. It's the same person. Uh, what kind of company were you told he had? The Ning Company Sifanya de Leo Mimu Fegate Walisoto. Swandi Kamara, a Barendi Wolof for Dudusanya, the Lea Dudusanya. As my nephew told as my as my as my nephew told me, the late Dudusanya. A phone you call coming a told me that the man has hospitals he wants to enlist people who were ex servicemen so he wants people who should be gambians uh, did you go alone no i didn't go alone who did you go with I went along with Swandi Kamara. The late Dauda Nyasi. The late Lamin Dabo. The Lamin Dabo. And M.M. Koli. And M.M. Koli. I hope M.M. Koli is alive. Yes, M.M. Mm Koli. -hmm. Yes, he is alive. <laughs> okay, and uh, where did you start your journey from? I was in we went via Zigansor mm -hmm. and went on to Tambakunda. A train to Tambakunda and Data Mali. We joined a train at Tambakunda and went to Mali. Bamako. Bamako and Bamako. Yes, where we were staying, that area is called Bamako. And then? And from Bamako, from Babirim, from Bamako, Bamako, Burkina Faso. We spent the night at Bamako. Then the following day, we joined a vehicle and went to Burkina Faso. Where in the Burkina? second capital, Bobo Julasu. We went to the second capital called Bobo Julasu. Hmm. Bobo Julasu. We left Bobo Julasu. We took a bus from there and went to Wagadugu. Where we based was called Avenue Morinaba. And thereafter? Where we based in Moroto? That's where we were based. Uh, only Owato be Manku Goyet. 
All the time we have not yet met Kukoi. Dr. Mane from Majede. We didn't see Dr. Mane up to that time. But one day. But one day. Uh, in other phone you call. They came to me and told me that the man they are talking about, let's go to him. There was somewhere in Burkina Faso a very expensive bar. They took us there. Expensive or extensive? Expensive. Everything is in that bar. Ah, so w bar. What is everything? Well, it's in terms of food, you have a lot of things, food and a lot of things there. So, so when we went there, they said this bar belongs to him. But I said, somebody who they said was in Ivory Coast, how can he have a bar here? Is this something, is, is this something uh, very clear? But, but even there, we were still unable to see this Dr. Mane they are talking about. Two weeks ago, uh, we spent two weeks at Burkina. The third week, in the third week, they said now we are going to Ivory Coast. The plane we boarded. When we were going on board the plane, our bags were searched. After we sat down on board the plane, we were we saw a man come into the plane, a fair-colored person, followed by his security men. They said, this man is the man called Charles Taylor. I said, I said, then, today, this place will be, something will happen here. Why did you think so? Why are, what do we have with Charles Taylor? So at that point, we cannot uh, disembark from the plane. That's how the plane took off. It went and landed between the Ivory Coast and uh, Liberia's border. But of course, this was the type of the NPFL. NPFL. Yes, this was NPFL. Yes. And, and uh, this was just two years after the NPFL was launched. One year. One year, because it was, yes, they started in 89, but the official launch is 1990 from Nimba County. Yes. Proceed, please. We went at night. We traveled only at night. Who funded your travel? What all we spent, uh, uh, Suandi Kamara was responsible for all our expenditure. So Suandi was a recruiting agent also. Yes. Proceed. That's how we formed a convoy. From Nimba County. From Nimba County. Border on Yamfondunda Bon County. We ran like that until we went into Bon County. Border Bon County to Momina Kirikeswaka Sangi Kesegili. The time we arrived at the Bon County, bullets were raining down like the how rain <inaudible> comes <inaudible> from the sky. <inaudible> I said, "What is happening here?" <inaudible> and we are uh, uh, during we are at that time there was a ceasefire. I said, uh, during a ceasefire, bullets are raining like this. Then if there is no ceasefire, Mr. 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 Mr.
Yes. During a ceasefire, <laughs> if bullets are raining on people, now when there is a war, what's going to happen? Uh-huh. Then they took us to Yankuba Samate's house. He's a Gambian. I think if I can remember, he's from Salikenya. Then I said to myself, oh, on the whole, in Liberia here, you have Gambians here. But up to that point, we are still unable to see Dr. Mane. Youngs, what was his name? Youngs. Well, I gave it away, sorry. But what was his full name in Liberia? Gafani Youngs, General Youngs. They call him General Youngs. Was he Smith? Was he Smith? Smith five, the orphan of five. Yes, he is also called Smith. Yes, proceed, please. Uh, not a tragedy. We were there. But he uh, and the orphan of four cross cross for your quarter of But they also realized that we are ex servicemen. Also, the common among Fenkekoy and Samba Kari. And Ekoy Ali Samba Ming? Kari, Kari. And they said we should be taken to a place called Kari. It's a place where they have cattle and many other animals which are reared in that place. We went there and found Mustafa Jiba there. He's the man who was in charge of that place. What, what was his Liberian name? At a Liberian two community. Mustafa Macaroni. They call him Mustafa Macaroon. <laughs> we spent some few days there also. Liberia na bela But Liberia, there is one thing about them. Before we came to know about the place, we were nearly killed by hunger. Because there is only one type of food there. If you have lunch, you will not have dinner. normal time, all of And even in their normal time, that's what's the system there. But small things that you can eat around are plenty. Because they are sufficiently endowed. We were at Mustafa's place. One man came there and we were told that this man is Kukoi's deputy. Gafai General Abulaiba. They call him General Abulaiba. Short and strong. Yes. Suriata Bambanta. Yes. Ah, inata for ingine mu Kukoi Sambasanya na deputy. They told us this man is Kukoi Sambasanya's deputy. How many Gambian generals did you have there? When we initially arrived, there were not many generals. bodyguard. At that time, if there was a general, I think he was Charles Taylor's bodyguard. They call him Jere Koli. And Jere Koli was General Jackson. Jackson. Ah, uh, yes. Jerry yes. Kuli was General Jackson. Mm -hmm. Youngs too, wasn't he a general? Yankuba was a general. And later on, Yankuba also became a general. And Ablaiba also was a general. Ablai is a three star general. Ablai was a three star general. Lieutenant general. Lieutenant, Lieutenant general. So, um, what, how about Mr. Fa Macaroni? He, 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 he was, was a Lieutenant Colonel. Lieutenant Mustafa Colonel. was a Lieutenant Colonel. Mm -hmm. Gambians so, ruled Liberia. How many Gambians ruled Liberia? Mara. Ah, ninto nya befo kankai. Well, if the truth comes out, Gambians only assembled around Liberia. Gambians were very powerful in Liberia. Ninda oda dura ninga Gambians ote je dete tamala. Wherever you have serious trouble, if a Gambian is not there, then uh, you will not go. So now that we are in Yamaji, that's how we were there. Uh, General eh, Ablaiba. This General Ablaiba. Another for Mustafa ko konte tu nolo jembita for Grand Basa. He told Mustafa that we cannot remain there. We Bichana. have to go to Grand Basa. Grand Basam. Basa Basa yes in Bichama. Grand Basa in Bichama. Mudu inata na samba Bichama. They took us to Bichama. But o mudu nta 2000 and eh, 1990. 
Because 91 and 1992 were signed. Now it was, we were in 92 at that time. At this stage, mm -hmm. have you already been integrated into the NFL? Or NPFL, right. Yes, at that time we were in the middle of things. What rank did you attain at the NPFL? Slide maka maje soto nun NPFL. That don't follow the fighter fighter mundi. Initially, I was just a fighter. But the four rank only had now meaning the operation rank. If I was given a rank, it was an operational rank. Ah, which was. I was a captain. captain. Which was a captain. Um, not so a travel. Not a you, you, you led a company. Na kamunda kwenye ata company ni nyato kaya. Not a travel nyama. That's how we were. Not a na document soldier. They came and took our documents. Up to this time, have you met Kukoi? Dafuo watu kuna fanya wiku kai aliye Kukoi jeli. Up to new watu, remember Dr. Mane, dunulo maji nyato. Up to that time. <laughs> we haven't seen Dr. Mane. Did you willing, willingly enlist? Silang fuite kabiri ibeta kanga itifungole iswanta le bapurieta. What do you mean by that? Balante jesai te balanola. Because we were already in the middle of things. At that moment, you cannot refuse. Because the Liberia Benyami. Because the way Liberia was. Ya Kenya men Gambian Gambian ole position jamala mutaji. Because how things were going on, Gambians held many positions If you come to Nimba County, where we entered through, Colonel Mfamarakoli Colonel Mfamarakoli was responsible for that area. If you go to Lofa, General Jallo Lebeji. General Jallo was there. What's his name? Tundi. Atabota Ndembanli. He's from Demban. Who made him come some time ago? Did he have a Liberian name? A Liberian Tosotole. Mustafa, Mustafa Jallo. Mustafa Jallo. Don't man color it. I tell you, I'm not Mustafa Sanya. No, I don't. For Sanya, I don't know. I'm not sure. Mustafa Jallo, General Jallo. Whether he would, who he was, Mustafa Sanya or Sanya, but they call him General Jallo. Who was the lawful? He was the guy in charge of lawful. By the time when we went into Liberia, to come out, out of that country was really difficult. Lunta wala mudi dunda. If you are a stranger and you happen to go in, dube dunda wadu wala dunda sutole. And the time you were going in, it was late at night. Panola kere te efanje, kato banga be Liberia te male. Uh, and daybreak, you see yourself in, in the country, and Banga was in the middle of Liberia. Yo, so I think they were not uh, sure of us, or there was no trust. That's why they decided to take us to Grand Bassa. Unfortunately, before two months, Ukoi came from Ghana. I cannot forget that day. That was the day I set eyes on Kukoi. Oh, I came for Dr. Mane. Oh, I said to myself, the man they called Dr. Mane, so Liberia this is the person. In the whole of Liberia, they only call him Dr. Mane. They don't call him Kukoi. That's the time we sat down with him and had a meeting. That's how we all joined. So far, we all joined. As we all joined. But uh, what did he want from you? So I tell after Munela told Bulu. I'm told he is mentally told Bulu. I don't mean to go. What we found them doing was. Because Charles Stello Marco Chelo and Ni Pareta. They helped Charles Stello in fighting when they were ready. Sina Gambia jam. They come to the Gambia. Road to Majawara Lebejan. But at that time, Jawara was the head of state. And you agreed to that enterprise? Yes. Okay, and uh, you continued to participate in fighting in Liberia? Liberia. Yes, but before the fighting itself, Coming Benyamin and Yata Long, 
Now, how we were there, that's how they si all came to know. Si alors qu'on nous faisait le They knew that we were old soldiers. Okay, na ta fanya na ta Cobra Base. They said we should go to Cobra Base. Yela mu a Charles Taylor Advanced Training Base hodi. That was Charles Taylor's Advanced Training Base. Before nga Monrovia na attack. Before we attacked Monrovia. But, but that was a base shared with for the Sanko, was it? But the old learning, uh, so for the Sanko Fanang Dabi Yele. And if for the data auto? No, for the was not part of that. I've never seen a Sierra Leonean there. I, I held the Quran and swore. And this is Allah's name. I will tell the truth is better tell, telling li than telling lies. This is a very important point, perhaps for other reasons, but mm -hmm. proceed. We went to Cobra Base. Because people were taught by librarians. But when we arrived, they said we should take over the camp from the librarians. It was himself. And, and you are all ex servicemen And we were all ex soldiers. Then we were there training the boys. Before 1992, Keloema. Before the war started in 1992. Those who don't know will think that it was Charles Tello who attacked uh, uh, Monrovia. But I held the Quran. What I saw with my eyes and what was said. Uh, the, the problem came from them. Because... 15 gate because 15 gate obe habel is at a place called habel ni bota jele ka ta morovia if you leave that place you go to morovia 15 gate be ekomok lebu 15 gate was in the hands of the ekomok a rebel will be born on la morovia nya di le foy na mol mol masaka in in habel so how can rebels come from morovia and come and kill people at habel koko cha sielolo they said it was Charles Taylor. This is what triggered the 1992 war. But it was really tough. Uh, Starting from 15 gate. We fought them until we took the place called Red Light from Ghana, them. Ghana, eh, Vanas, Ghana's, eh, Vanasville table. We took Vanasville from them. We took New Joji also from them. We took a lot of places from them. No, do, you, do you realize that some Gambians were injured in that fighting? Some, not many. Gambians don't fight in Liberia. If anybody tells you that... I if wouldn't lie to you. If Gambians Gambian tell you they were fighting in Liberia now. They were there, but based at Freeport. We see them. One platoon was involved in fighting. And, and Captain Gambi was injured. And Captain Gambi was injured. It could be, but I have not but, seen but, them. But all these things are interesting. Uh, but let's move to the more important points. Uh, you, you, you served in Liberia until 1994. Ah. Yes. And uh, then what happened after that? Uh, but the Liberians were there in 1994. I want you to forgive me. There is a point which I want to uh, uh, declare here so that people will know about it. Mm -hmm. Yes. In, in, in the war in 1992, when we defeated the Ekomok, 
jet fighter tankam they took jet fighters against us liberia lenga cluster bomb je cluster bomb it was in liberia that i saw a cluster bomb nana mo jena balu i've never seen it in my life wouldn't cluster bombs be illegal ah nga jela ni ni amina ni parachute wala kana yes i saw it they dropped it along with a parachute la do jela men yalla ma explore just like ka bob bob barko be nyama bo wala nyama we saw some of them which didn't explode just like a barrel because yalla lay bira swamol siata ji lay bira bim ji ken sangol because in liberia you have many swamps a lot of water where it falls down ning jio be jabu ka explode if it is in water it won't explode nga ji ngaw je nyala wolo i saw it with my eyes there so in 1992 in 1992 ganian ekomokol the ganian members of the ekomok wolle tata nu bichama there are people who went to bichama and general jai general babe daming where general ba was no documents so batale bulu no he was having our documents ganian no dio documents so tara taje they took over your base Yes, they took over the base and captured our documents. Guy no leo dog. Guy no leo document le bondi. Yes, those documents were the documents sold by Ghanians. Kelo la char selo ene. And that's why they said, oh, Gambians were are still fighting are fighting for Charles Lero. Eno watu le yaki na Jawara time mola. And that was the time they sent those papers in Jawara's time. Control be farale. Saying that we've all died. And all the songs will be done to the phone call be allowed. And our deaths were announced here, and they did the necessary things for us. You mean your family did the necessary things for you? Tako Allah dimbayani na tako leke kumi bila mwanamke. Yes, they did everything because they said that I was already dead. Omo jawara time all today. But this was during jawara's time. And data? Okola. Then from uh, in, uh, in, uh, 1995. Mm -hmm. From 1995. When that na phone ang ko ngana Gambia jam. It was the time when Kuko said, "Let's come to the Gambia." But what on tour from the Barara Liberia? Well, by that time we also we were tired in Liberia. Why? Not now, but later. Kuko, because Kuko, ni a jengi na. If you see him this year, ni ba jela kodo ka kamele. For you see him again, it takes a long time. Until we balu kan debang. Whether we were alive. Um mantra balu kan bang. Or dead. Abang okay ya. He doesn't care. Ba fan ya dro. He's always by himself. But it but it was said that the Gambians controlled the executive mansion. Para kam ya fojan ne ko Gambians so lewo. Ah, ima fojan. They said that the Gambians controlled the executive mansion. Eka mwen fonu watu mo Gambia no le executive mansion ni muda. Aum tonyal. Yeah, that was true. Yet you are suffering in Liberia. But I had to be a little bit torah kan Liberia. Ani aje ngo toro. The reason why I said we suffered. Ni osi me ba ko irkundo si me ba ko ni njana teke no la bamboti. However long a stick stays in water will not be able to transform into a crocodile. You go enjoy moleo ko Liberia. Well, as iko na alimen kila ibiri. Iko enjoyment. Well, if you talk about enjoyment, we really. No, the kirinya wanyam but you enjoy. Yes, however, the war was going on, but we also enjoy. Until we are special forces, lad. We were all among the special forces. I had ten bodyguards more than the disaster. If you want, you can have more than ten bodyguards. Now that idea they carry it out. And you can go to anywhere you want to go. Most of the time, for a country to wasle. Sometimes they even hire me. Arunte tata dau dalo tadi Liberia dau da jeto to ni 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 yeye yeye kwa John Lem do Rambo mbetambila. Because anywhere at a ghetto in Liberia, when they say John or Rambo, they will give me away. So you also became Rambo. Sasa kama nda kwa tafuna nata ki Rambo ti. Yes. And. Uh, Youngs was one of those that controlled the executive mansion. Youngs for now that we will be able to control the executive mansion. Okay, that all Ghana, Charles Selo attacked Ghana meeting hola. Yes, that happened because Charles Selo went to Ghana for a meeting. Hello, back. Robin White ka interview nung. If one can remember, Robin White interviewed him. A cafe ko mfere banga. And, and said to him, I am at Banga. Can you hear a generator? Did now sound of a generator? Really, he was not at Banga. He was at the border. Every coast Liberian border. Every coast and Liberian border. Because on that at that time, General Eight Eight Generals. Eight Generals. 
deconived naten yena 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 mansono bejani they came and burnt down our mansion they took away all our guns they took away all our guns dimba malala those the things they cannot carry they burnt them roduma cha selo be ganal de but at that time charles telo was in ghana tolbe da men oning je which year so te mama njamfa which year was that nim nim mangina it was Was this part of the negotiations for the Accra Accords? No, I think it was the same time. You must have been there, Mr. Chair. <laughs> so, so I say now. I bring the mansion of Bejan. When the mansion was born, they wanted to advance La Puruka na ntolbe ma formen. They wanted to advance and come to the area where we were. Kapri ya moiko Gambia no lebejana. When they had that that place, there are Gambians there. They came. They went back. Karu olun fanang olun nengaje. But on that day also, I saw. Only three star general. Come here, Afunka. Meet three star general. The person we call a three star general. Olun official tali. Well, on that day he he was he was afraid. Ha, ko ntolu bekele nyadi ga alenga tanga eko moko li anga tanga fangu surrender ji. He said, what are we going to do now? Let's go and surrender to the economic economic forces. Olun nengai my dead body. I said to him over my dead body. Tomorrow morning, I just know by witness like on a okay. Maybe somebody will come to testify here who will say that yes, this happened. Okay, nga fa ole fiza tanga tanga hand over ekomoko. I said to him, we die is better than handing over ourselves to the ekomok soldiers. Yo bar na nga try le phone na tanga ta ta selo nga 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 kesol la na tanga nga 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 banga boni yubu. But later on, we fought, tried until we took Banga from them. So, Kabin Chasiro Nata na Murna. When Charles Tello returned, what all I told him, Captain Dalam, more and more told the car guide. That was the time when he brought us closer to him himself. We were his guards. Malla kote kala mola. Because he didn't trust anymore his own people. Lona ga ga guard sign. It was us who were guarding him now. Gambians. Yes, and in fact, some of them like. Youngs later became ambassador. Bolinya ma for honey youngs for Naranake ambassador. Charles Taylor's ambassador to Charles Libya. Charles Taylor ambassador to Libya. Mm -hmm. right. Yes. So you guys wielded a lot of authority in Liberia. Mdoka toli ali kamo soto nun Liberia. Atonyalam. A lot of experience. Ali ali londo jama soto ninge. Atonyalam. You became battle hardened. Nata ke ke la jawa. Nata ke ke la jawa rolti. Atonyalam. You also became Rambo. Nada ke Rambo ti. Onyalam. True. And you decided to come to Gambia. Yena taji ko bimuru na Gambia. Omo to onyalam. That's true. Tell us what happened when you came. Eh, kabiri nada. So when we came back, when I came back, and dun before ni esi, and before that, ngalo Quran lotadi. I took a Quran. Along, ala na bokuwa kala kakele. Well, when Allah wants to do something, it happens. Sometimes you blame people. But whatever Allah destines for a person will never, will always happen. I have one brother, Baba Job's younger brother. Sirif. Sirif Ba Job. He said, younger brother, I said, Nam. He said, younger brother, I said, Nam. He said to me, Kuko is trying to take you people away. But now Samba Gambia Barjan Fal. But when he takes you to the Gambia, he will betray you. But I didn't heed his word. That's how we came. But how we came? Because we had no documents. Malate um, I o I o keno nyad be first Senegal ID card I hold in tola. But I'm not using ID card. I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to let them. Well, I don't know how he did it. How he did this. But he tried and made available to us Senegalese ID cards, which were a, in, the, in the form of a booklet. With the flag, ah, the colors of the you. flag running through it? May I? Yes. Yes. We all traveled with those documents. With your own pictures affixed on it? Yes, all our, every man's pictures. I also know Senegal, but I don't know how he got that from the Senegalese. I don't know how he got that from the Senegalese. I don't know how he got that from the Senegalese. I forgot one thing also. It's also important for people to know. 
Liberia. When we were in Liberia, what really angered me later, I see Kasama's rebels coming to Kukoy. He was dealing with them. Yes. Yes. In Liberia. Ah, you can allow for Liberia. Yes, they come all the way to Liberia. What, what, I saw that many times. What kind of dealing were it they be, involved in? But what they were doing, what they were up to, was not clear to me. But the moment you see them, you will know that they are not Gambians, they are from Kazamas. How do you know that? They themselves say this. They said they are Kazase. They are Kazase. That's the time when we know that. Then Kukoi has a hand in the Kasamas. Allah created a human being. A human being is not something, is not a joke. If you want to play human with human beings, you will never have peace, you yourself. Okay, you came to Gambia. Gambia. When we came to the Gambia. Mm -hmm. We were all of you are from Liberia, or there were some who were co-opted from other places? Um, we were all from Liberia, but when we reached Kaulah, some were Gambians, but I don't know how he mobilized those people. Were they also ex-soldiers? Mm, no, they were not soldiers. What I know. What was going to be their role in your enterprise? Well, what I thought for bringing those people into the country, I don't know, I have never known that they have been soldiers. In total, how many were you? In total, how many were you? Well, we were a little. We were less than 22 people. That was in Kaulah or both Kaulah and uh, uh, this place uh, and Tamba, whatever the name of the place put together. Well, I'm all minu be Kaulah. Well, I'm for minu minu be Kaulah. I think minu be Tamba. Ni albe kafunu. If you add all of us, we were less than 20 people. Well, those who were at Tamba were more than us. Okay. Did you have any weapons? No, we didn't have guns. So this was whose government in Gambia at the time? Sila wato jumala mansakundale benu Gambia jangu wato. Former president Yajam. It was Yajam as regime. So he wanted to overthrow Jawara, that failed. He now, he now wants to overthrow Yaya Jawara Kudeta Tinyata. Another question That question is very good. But I can say something because I can say something about that too. Um, when Yaya succeeded in his Kudeta, Alstelo himself told the Gambians, now you should go home. Because what you wanted has now happened, now you can go home. Whether it was Alstelo himself who came here, but our leaders were the people who came. And I told them before that, those of us who came from the Gambia recently, we ex-soldiers. If things should be done rightly, we are the ones who should go because we know the Gambia. 
But they didn't agree to that. When these people who succeeded, I saw their pictures. Okay, yeah, eh, former president Jammy. Former president Jammy. Now one year six months like he is a campot. I spent one year six months with him the at the camp. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the story building where he was staying is, was behind me. They called and the place Yamatoy. But we knew him as Kanilai. I didn't know his name as Yaya. Okay, Yankuba Ture. Yankuba Ture. I know him. I know him. When I was leaving, if I remember, Sana Sabali, he was a recruit. Edward didn't join the army in my presence. I don't, I don't know him. When I saw their pictures in Liberia, I said there are two people here who I recognize, Yankuba and Sana. And I, they said, this man is called Jame, Captain. I said, but when I was leaving the army, there was no lieutenant called Jame. There was no lieutenant called Jame. But saying that he left the Zandam and went to the army, that they didn't find me in the Gambia. This is why I was unable to recognize him. Before Liberia. I saw that picture before we left Liberia. But if things were done rightly, that's the way it should have happened. But our leaders forced themselves to come. Who came? Well, if I can remember, those who came... I mean, Domingo Natalie. Domingo came. Who is who's Domingo? Malon Domingo. The late Domingo. The late Domingo. What did he say from Nyomi? What did he say? Mod Sisi. Mod Sisi from Nyomi. He was the guy who decided to take the general Sisi. He was the guy who decided to take the general Sisi. He was the guy who decided to take the general Sisi. He was the guy who decided to take the general Sisi. He was the guy who decided to Yeah. All of these people were generals. Yes, all of them were generals. So in But when they came, what they left here with, we didn't know. But, uh, but if you have rebel generals <laughs> coming to lieutenant head of state, <laughs> obviously it's an unholy combination. <laughs> Duo, wamu wamu jina ni sejan lateral. Alimama mrefu kila wanyama. Okay, things didn't work out, and you resolved to come and overthrow the government of the Gambia. Ha. Nata na jiko na bina banko tala masakunda. And this was in 1996. Duo nata ke 1996. Yes, 1996. You were in Kaulak, and you have another group in Tambakunda. And yes, those people at Tambakunda, we heard that they were already arrested. So the ones who were in Kaula, which were which was our, us, we attacked the Farafenya camp. Myself. Abiro Demba. Abiro Demba. Late Ablai Sonko. Late Ablai Sonko. Balo Kante. Balo Kante. Ramojiba. Ramojiba. Kebasano. Kebasano. I'm Rabanta. I think that's it. Yeah, the, the uh, invincible, the late. The late invincible. Yeah, drum. Yeah, yeah drum. <laughs> Even invincible is late. Kuhani invincible for nangu for nambantale. What if Father Kasolo? He died in the jail. Oh, may his soul rest in peace. You were seven. Ah. Ah. Yes. And you came Mourola. to Gambia without weapons. Um, yes, we had guns. But if there were guns manufactured by our uh, blacksmiths, it wasn't good. Not good at all. So how did you manage? It's just like council. We, have, we were used to fighting. May Allah forgive us. 
But we saw with our eyes in Liberia. Well, what I can do is to uh, give thanks to Allah. So because so today I see myself sitting now in this. Well, that's great thanks to Allah. Because where I was, if I happen to die there, it can be nothing can be said about it. Well, it is Allah who takes care of his uh, creative. Uh, whatever Allah says, that's what happens. Well, if you are invincible, you can dodge bullets. But you see, fighting, people think that it is uh, arms that do the fighting. Yes, true, arms participate in fighting, but fighting is done with the heart. What do man told me jet fighter be kelo la the time we were fighting against jet fighters, wherever we didn't go, if you have librarians there, they will run away and leave the whole place. The, the, the sound of the jet fighter, only the sound, has made many pregnant women to deliver. No, fighting is not only weapons. It is with bravery. But, but you had you had judges. Liberians didn't have. Yes, yes, you have very very good judges. If somebody tells you you might deny it. If somebody shoots you with an RPG, somebody <laughs> something to who, who is holding a cow tail will just shake the cow tail. If he shakes the cow tail and takes, tells the RPG bullet to drop here, that's where it will drop. There are things that you rub on your body. Uh, this is interesting, but we, we have to avoid the overlap. Sorry. Our, he, our people here, they give you jujus to tie on your body, which prevents a bullet. That's not there. That's yeah, not there. If they give it to you, and the moment you turn your back, they will shoot you. And these are prepared by very small boys. And those things worked. And who called Kanatama? Liberia. Hmm. Liberia. Allah also did. Allah endowed them. How many people died in your in your presence? My own people. I think people, only people, two people died in my presence, but after I left, that's the time when Domingo and General Jackson died. How about Liberians? Liberians huh? How about Liberians? Liberians died in groups. Because they drink until and they drink and use drugs. But how about all those champs? They, they forgot to wear them or to rob themselves. If you hear a juju is protecting you, you have to protect yourself first. If you don't protect yourself, jujus will not protect you. <laughs> all right. So in November 1996, seven of you mm. battle hardened Gambian. Uh, how would I call them? Mercenaries from Liberia? However you say it, there is nothing wrong with it. Thank you very much. You came to Farafenye. Tell us what happened. When we came to Farafenye, we went there with two local guns. These local guns, which were manufactured by blacksmiths, uh, before Nata. Before we went, what we said was that let's try and capture the camp. That was our mission to capture the camp. And when we went, we went through the back gate. 
You had served in Farafenye Yes, I was in Farafenye. So you understood the I was taken to Farafenye on two occasions. Huh? We were all part of the engineering unit. And he, he liked me a lot in those days. Wherever he is going to, he will ask me to go with him. When he was being transferred to Farafenye, that's, that's how he took me along to Farafenye until I completed my time there. Yes. So, when we came through the back gate, we found the sentry man smoking cigarette. You are smoking. I said to him, sentry man, you are smoking. No bullet was fired there. We don't have AK-47. We had these local guns, which, which, which weren't even good. He just <laughs> threw his gun and ran away. <laughs> No gun was fired at the Farafenye camp. I didn't see it there. So they all melted. That's how they all left the camp. Because uh, Biransen because he said this at the high court. Invincible, around 8 o'clock, it was Bransen who, uh, it was Invincible who found Bransen in the mess room and arrest, arrested him there. Allow the interpreter to, to land. And, tell, and told him to sit down. No, no, no. He said, no, no, no. I myself said that at the high court. I, he said to him, this, this man is a captain. He didn't do anything to you. Give him the respect. That's how we captured him. Because when we attacked the place, we broke the Amori first. And in that Amori also, apart from AK, there was only one RPG. Mm. The motors in there weren't good. We, we were there like that till daybreak. And we saw that there is no way to wait. Now it's daybreak. What are we going to do? And I said, no, let's advance then. We took one driver. We put bullets and gum, guns in that uh, uh, vehicle. We came all the way to Bobolong. That's where we met up with Peter Singer and his troop. And they are shooting took place there. But nobody died there. Uh, but in Farafenye, mm -hmm. was it there a soldier who was injured? They said soldiers died there. But I didn't see it. Did you shoot? No. no. Well, it was seven of you. I, I took the Quran and swore. I didn't fire at Farafin. But I fought really in Liberia. And in Baobolom? When we met at Baobolom, we met with Peter there. Uh, with his troop. So, we shot each other there. Already. Because it was already daylight. They dispersed so that they can try and capture us. So, we were in the middle. That's how we maneuvered and went into the bush. Myself and Esa Balde, the two, two of us went together. We spent the night in the bush like that. They saw the orders, but they didn't see us. The following day, we came back. The following day, we came back. We came and roasted some groundnuts. Uh, and one lady came and told us that soldiers were looking for people around here. Then I said, ah, we are also looking for... Uh, that's how we crossed Bobolong and went along up to Farafenye. But it was at night. We came to the border. That's how we tried and uh, looked for a vehicle. We crossed and went to Kaula. How about your weapons? We threw all those arms away. 
Because in Senegal, in those days, if they see guns with you, they'll say you have to allow the interpreter to learn. Thank you. So, so, so you escaped. Uh, but uh, what is of, uh, what's interesting is when you took over the camp, mm -hmm. what did you do to the soldiers who were there? I was in the camp when the camp was in the camp. I was in the camp when the camp was in the camp. I was in the camp when the camp was in the camp. I was in the camp when the camp was in the camp. I was in the camp when the camp was in the camp. I was in the camp when the camp was in the camp. Melted. They all ran away. I didn't see any soldier there. Goodness. And what happened to the vehicle that you had stocked with uh, with arms and ammunition? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I I don't know. I I don't know. 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 Yes, someone was shot in our group. Balo was shot on the leg, and the bullet is still in his leg. Suleiman Sar also suffered a broken leg. You did not mention Suleiman Sar. That would make you eight. Puru was almost say. Okay. Yes. Did, did all of you escape? Atol bo atol be na takana leba. Ha ya lon suro kabring mak mak angkera. After the engagement in the night. Some of our people even uh, left us. Mm -hmm. left us mm -hmm. And they ran away. Because kar eh, karamo jiba bordele. Because karamo jiba ran away. Eh, eh, kabiro demba maje. We did not see Kabiro Demba. Kebasano Maj. We did not see Kebasano. So it was only the five of us who were left. Sol Balo? Sol Balo? Sol Balo? Sol Balo? Okay, Sol Balo said who was shot. Then, not at all, Nyama, intending Isa. So I went along with Isa. I don't tell a former wife. Isa what? Isa Balde. Isa Balde. So that would make you nine. I didn't call his last name. Uh, Kabiru Demba, mm -hmm. Ablai Sonko, mm -hmm. Mbalo Kante, mm -hmm. Karamojiba, mm -hmm. Keba Sano, mm -hmm. Invincible, mm -hmm. Suleiman Sa, mm -hmm. Esa Valde, yeah, and yourself. Mm -hmm. Then tell a former wife was Senegalese. Mm -hmm. My former wife was a Senegalese. So so I told Esa, let's go there. But when we went there, after looking at that situation there, I told him we couldn't stay here. One of my brother, at that time, one of my brothers gave me his address. He was in Dakar at a place called Pekin Nyaritali. Sulema eh ablai songko eh boy meng recruit nu. But the boy that was recruited by ablai songko, the kafa eh Yusufa. Called Yusufa. Hmm, Yusufa. Yusufa Silla. Yusufa Silla. I'm the coach Silla la brother lam. I think coach Silla's brother. Ah, yes. I'm the la brother lam. I think it's his brother. So until na ta tawole ya. So we went to him. Oh, sorry, before ngaf futa wama. Even before we got to him, I went to Dudubaji. I did not know Dudubaji. I only had his name, but he was. He was Kukoi's man. He said Edward Singata came here with 12 million. He said Edward Singata came here with 12 million. For as a reward for anyone that. Uh, Captures you. Twelve million what? For, for, for twelve million Dalasi Lembang. For Sefa Lembang Whether it was Dalasi or Sefa, I do not know. You don't know about what I want to do with Yusufa. So we left there and went to Yusufa. After Yusufa, you don't know what I want to do At that time, Yusufa already knew about our situation. And you don't know what I want to do with And we were not also acquainted with Dakar. The address that we gave him. Yusufa knew what I want to do with Dakar.
In fact, in inside use first compound, there was an NIA agent there. In Dakar. In Dakar, from inside no, Dakar. In Charoy. In Charoy. Ah, yes. So we left there and went. Bring all the women down, but Tamala Dakar side open. Since morning, we are working within Senegal. Just, <laughs> just inquiring about someone does not make you. And just does not make you find uh, him. It's not like the Gambia. Council, you may have to intervene here, please. Uh, could you allow for? Three seconds between your speech and that of the interpreters. Three seconds, Sabad Rumbula, Ining Kanasur Langi Tema. Thank you. Rambo. Continue, sign. Continue. For Alaning, Alaning Kening Killing. By God's grace and uh, one man, I asked him, and when well, I showed him the paper, but he okay, no moral. Well, that uh, man was a marabou, was a marabou, a big one. And I have to then he asked, where are you from? And I explained to him. He said to me, there is one marabou over there, but uh, let's go to the restaurant. He took us to the restaurant and bought us food. And bought us drinks. Then he gave us uh, the direction to that place. When we got there, I said to him, we are asking for so-and-so person. And he said, I am the one. Attended. And he was not the one. He thought that we had come to do some marabu work. I said to him, do you know so-and-so person? He said, no. I said to him, then you are not the one. That route that we took, we took the route as we took a bend, the sharing to us a photograph was on the the wall. We hold, that was the place, but we had gone past it. We went and greeted. And I showed them the paper. I said to them, we are asking for so and so person, and they told me this is kendingo la bungo kono. This is his story building. We went inside. We, we got into his room and then we saw a very fair uh, in complexion. <laughs> <one>. <laughs> she, she bleached her skin. <laughs> she bleached her skin. <laughs> the type that I have never seen before in my life. Behold, <laughs> she was a spy. Oh God. <laughs> the woman came down. <laughs> Even before you <laughs> talk about seconds. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to that time I had a rasta hat on. Already they had described me to her already. All of this one is like this, this one is like this. And that was how we were, they grabbed, they grabbed us. They, they pounced on us and they pounced on the marabou too. I told them this man has not done nothing uh, wrong. Uh, that was how they dragged us to their police station. So who pounced on you? The Senegalese NIA. Okay. They did that. But this Yusufa, he sent the message sent to them. them. That was why they captured us. When they took us to their place, police station, the police station, in a statement, they took our statements, said yes. You are in this country, we knew about your presence here, but we did not know that you were... And I, I told them, what, what is it about? They said the problem that happened in Farafajan. I told them, we have nothing to do with it. We don't know anything about it. They said, look, we know everything about your activities, and there's no need for you to try to hide anything here. I said to them, well, it's true, what you have said is the truth. But now, give us 24 hours and we will leave your country. What do you want to do? They said, we are repatriating you back to the Gambia. I said, well, taking us back to the Gambia, and they said, yes. I said, that is not going to be an easy thing. 
We spend the night there. So manda adron ila for general for for ila police commander and for muna mobile mude. The morning time, I think it's the general or police commander, but it's a very uh, high official. He came and said to us, "Now we are taking you to the Gambia." I said to him, "Brother," and he said, "Yes." I said, "But we caused a problem in the Gambia." And you have arrested us and you want to return us to the Gambia? Prince Johnson. Prince Johnson. He killed Samuel Doe. But why did he run away and uh, took refuge in Nigeria? Right now, I feel like a senator. Right now, here he is, he's a senator. In Liberia. In Liberia. If I do something wrong in my country and you don't like me, give me 24 hours and I will leave your country. And instead of taking me back, it's not nice that way. But it's because of money. They said there was an, an agreement between Gambia and Senegal. Alhamdulillah. I said, well, so being, where I came from is much more difficult or hard than where you are talking about. The same one God who spared me from Liberia. And even if I return to Gambia, the same God, if he wants to spare me, he will spare me. They said, they said well, we are taking you. You will learn special flight. They took us in a special flight. Nato Suleiman Sar to Kaula. They came and picked Suleiman Sar in Kaula. They came and picked Suleiman Sar in Kaula. And we landed at the airport. Which airport? Airport Juma. Now I'm from the Banjul International Airport. Our very own Banjul International Airport. Bejira drum babuka jara ko damfaira kamuna jele. As soon as I came down the stairs, babuka jara said to me, "Damfa, what are you laughing about?" Kamuna jele. I said to him, "What am I laughing?" Maate damfa. I did not even answer. Mula ni moro kuna ola ni dual sita jam dual sita jam. They took us in a vehicle. Where are you in chains? Sila yal blue ola sita. Aye nki 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 nile. Yes, they we are cuffed. Marika book airport or dato. But from the airport gate. Kabon da presidenta ola kana. You will come be fari hada madingo le tap. You will think it's a president to come in. The highway was thronged with people on both sides. Nga 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 n that was how they took us to the NIA. When they took us to the NIA, it was in the night. When they took us in, is the place they call Bamba But we are still naked, just as we were born. And go for Bamba And we were handcuffed behind our backs. Do you have a CR motor? Yes, we have a CR motor. Do you have a CR motor? Yes, we have a CR motor. Do you have a CR motor? Yes, we have a CR motor. Do you have a CR motor? Yes, we have a CR motor. Do you have a CR motor? Yes, we have a CR motor. Some of the soldiers will put their pistols in the holes there and threaten to shoot me. And some of them will say, some of you are, you are lucky. If someone Sana Sabari was here, he would have killed you. But Suleiman's injury, when they broke, they took us from there to another cell. But there too, we were still handcuffed behind our backs. And uh, I think we spent about two days there. Third day, in Samba television. On the third day, we were paraded before the television. We spoke. television. After we, what did you say on television? The same statement I said. Uh, what I said, yeah, the same thing that they came, found me in my house in Tanji. They mobilized me and took me to Liberia. Television. That was what I said on television. The same thing, the same thing I am saying today. Did here. you did you say on television that you attacked the country? Uh, yes. Were you forced to say that? Yeah, forced to say that. Are you telling me? No. I did not force me. It was a plain confession. Yes. yes. Okay, proceed, please. After that, that was when the NIA started their work. We are interested in that. We are interested in that. We were handcuffed behind our backs. Yes, in the temple. We were handcuffed behind our backs. Yes, in the temple. We were handcuffed behind our backs. Yes, in the temple. We were handcuffed behind our backs. Yes, in the temple. We were handcuffed behind our backs. Yes, in the temple. We were handcuffed behind our backs. And whatever part of your body they are hit, they are beating. 
charge the, the machine that they used to charge car batteries. That is what they used to electrocute people. You will put one on your toe, one in your ear. But when they press that, even while the, that air condition is on, you will be sweating. You don't even know what is happening. The beating is going on. The beating is going on. When they are tired, they will take you back. Okay, tell us who in the NIA was responsible for making out this torture on you. Number one. Number one. Number two. Salmina drama number two. Salmina drama number two. No, we'll see that because Salmina, Salmina, it's not able to start killing. Uh, he comes from the same place as I, I have come from. There's only a, a, a path between our compounds. And the day that I was uh, arrested and I was sitting down. Salmina ngine foko ako nyingo mangen na kesol tinyale nyingo nyante sambala buru ala jato la ye dom. He said, these people, we should not waste bullets on them. We should just take them to the Bruaf uh, Reserve and, no, throw them for, and throw them for the lions. Mm -hmm. I raised my head and I looked at uh, Salmina mm -hmm. and I bowed down again. The God who is one, Salmina not entered my loot. By, uh, Salmina came and found me in my loot. But I did not wish that for him. But just that in this world, people should be very and, careful. And who else was responsible for torturing you? Thank you very much. Baba Dindi Njobate. Baba Dindi Njobate was there. He was not doing the beating. Who knows? He did not beat me. Was he present? Yes, he was there sitting down. Did he see you tortured whilst Yes, he was sitting. Did he stop it? No. Uh, did, he, did he say anything about the Now and then, if they say they want to do something, I used to hear him. Allow the interpreter. Now and then, when they want to do something, I used to hear him to tell them to stop. But that was not in all occasions. Would you say that he was against your torture? Sometimes he will refuse it. Sometimes he accepts. I think sometimes when things get so very difficult for me, you feel sympathetic for me, and that is when he asks him to stop. In fact, what you are saying is that Baba Dinding Jabate, a lawyer, former Attorney General, and one time judge, was complicit to your torture. I Baba Dinding Jabate, I am loyalty. Yes, I can say that he was part of it. That is a serious accusation. Do you know that? Ninja Bata came and found me in prison. I will not lie against him. In fact, he's my guy. It's not worth it. Arisambu. Arisambu. He's more wicked than all of them. He's the one who lights the fire. Because each time he comes in and goes out, that's when things start getting terrible. Why do you say that? When Harisambu comes, wherever he got his order from, I do not know. But he, he comes and tell, tell them, do not have any mercy for these people. Beat them, beat them mercilessly. So, 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 so you have mentioned three people as being involved in your torture. Mm -hmm. Odebari. You mentioned that, correct? Yes. Salmina Drame. Salmina Drame. 
Yes. Baba Dinding Jobate. Baba Dinding Jobate. No. And now you mention Hari Sambu. Hari Sambu. Hari Sambu. Hari Sambu for Nanto Foka. Unprompted, you mentioned Hari Sambu. But I... Moment in the Hari Moment in the Hari Toko. Tofo. Ha, ni na tatele nuno la na baadhi ni na kwa number one. Yes, I have forgotten about his name, but his name should have been the number one. Why do you say that? Na ne ofo. Maro domi na jana ba Harisambu kumu ofo. Maybe someone else will come here who will tell you about Harisambu's deeds. Hari na ima malo watu mama na position ba blu buru ala kolma iziri. I do not know what position he held at the time at the NIA, but his things he was not an easy man. But what do you mean by? Allah uh, position among easy. What do you mean by that? Nigo among easy. Muna isa ofiri no bang. Ola mu indi yala ni indi ole beku okela ole ka buka diam. Barata na na rakafo le ali koshi. You know these other ones when they are doing their things they don't talk. But when he comes he tells them to beat him. The buka nunde. And he doesn't hide it. Found kamu la ba fo. So so you hear him say that yourself. In a sense you are saying that he would come and order your continuous torture. Yes, that is a serious allegation. And that is what happened also. You are on the oath. Did he order I, I an oath and that is what also what happened? Did he order your torture? When he says beat, beat them up, then he gave the order. For how many times have you been tortured at the NIA? Sila yeli pa sinya jelle, wala ita tajini ya sinya jelle NIA. Moto ho continuo. No one can count that. Allah len tuluka si madu. God just spared us. How many times were you electrocuted? Sinya jelle, alkuna ekurango kal bala sinya jelle la. Oh oh, omu luo luo lunet. That is on a daily basis. But you had already confessed. Para tare te sa idi am telefoka pare to nyafu. Ngano re juzi jeno le bela luo. I think they were just wicked or hard-hearted. Mm -hmm. Were you only tortured at the NIA? Were you tortured elsewhere? If you would excuse me a little bit, let's return to the NIA because there are things I have not completely said. Please, please. When we were in the NIA, the entire time we did not have a chance to wash. One day they told us, uh, let's go so that you can take bath. I said to them, let's go. We went to the bathroom. I, the handcuffs were still in my hands and they told me to wash, take a bath like that. I said, no, well, then let me go back. So all the time that we spent there, all the, the time, our hands were cuffed behind our backs. But that is also uh, that is also wisdom because not everybody not everybody can do it because when night falls, we used to remove uh, move uh, remove it from the back and, and bring it to the front. And uh, when when day breaks, we we return our hands How would to you our do backs. That? That is wisdom. It's easy, but I will not demonstrate that here. No, we would want to see it. And in We would want to see it. Mm -hmm. But anyway, proceed. How, for how long were you detained at the NIA? Later the NIA for what you NIA during November 13. From November 13 until January, that was when we left the NIA. What were you doing there? Just uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 just sheer wickedness. We are just lying, lying on the floor and only a few were lying on the, on the beds. At, at what stage were you in the NIA? On the floor. Yes, we were lying on the beds. At what stage were you return your clothes? Kind of clothes. Talk about them bringing back racks to us. We'll get there too. I have forgotten one thing also. I swore by the Quran. 
What happened? I will tell. I will tell. Take And That's, I will not leave the path. That is why we are here. Well, at Nantul be sirin jambi. The NIA what woman? The time that we were at the NIA. Oh, you come far. Come far to look at my bamma. I don't know whether they used to be angry with us or what. I don't know. The food that they gave us was small, but the food came from the army barracks. Yo, senior officer, baby, I know some army 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 Bad cow, lamb, dal. But I wasn't the type of soldier that uh, they will normally refer to as a bad cow. From of them originally NIA. Whatever was uh, an original NIA. No British or Latin. And uh, uh, that person was trained by the British. All be in alone. All of them knew me. Yo, Fraser Juf na rjani Samsar because Samsar yeng karani nung masakongole. Fraser Juf and Samsar came because uh, Fraser Juf taught me in. No, Samsar. Uh, Samsar taught, taught me in Pakaleba. Uh, Samsidin Sar. Samsidin Sar. Then not for Fraser Juf a major. Then I told Fraser Juf who was a major. Kai ko major ko yes. I said to him major and he said yes. Kai entulu buka nto buka dumorin kuno buka fa. I said we used to eat but uh, not to our full. Our yeah. full ko ha. He said that's true. I said yes. Ko nyo barimba fula bankuti en. He said but I will uh, tell the the man in charge of the country. Samu. The following day. We used to eat until we throw some away. And you were happy about that? And we were content. But still, yes. you are not giving back your clothes. Our clothes were not returned back to you us. You were still chained behind your back. Yes, you were still sleeping with the mosquitoes in the cell. And you were still sleeping with the mosquitoes in the cell. Ah, yes, and we lay on the bare floor. Were you ever given medical treatment while you were at the NIA? Mm, doctor yes, doctors came there. They used to come and turn. Were you ever given the chance to speak to a lawyer? Well, our lawyer, well, when we reach the stage where we talk about the court. Uh, Between November and January, were you given the chance to speak to a lawyer? No, it never happened. So, is there anything else you want to tell us about the, your time at the NIA? What happened to me at the NIA is what I narrated, and uh, I think that is all of it. Now let's go to the prison. When we were being taken to mile two, Benta on Wednesday, it was on a Wednesday. Because I remember in those days, on Wednesdays they used to cook convicts. But that was during Mobutu Sisi's time. I think he was abandoned because a Banjulian Julian who went to England had a problem. He was uh, a former Zandam officer. At the time, David Coley was not yet around. When they took us there, there was one. There was one old man there from Sukuta called Ndao who was retired. You know, at the time, mile two, 97. 97. The time that we were taken inside and the condition of mile two today are different. They are not the same. The day that we were going in there, they were only planks. Just empty planks. But they removed those planks from the room. Mosquito net control member from Bunda to the number one cell. And the old mosquito nets that were at the door at number one cell, they went and removed them to the parental or to member nyato. Those that are at the window and at the door, susulaliyengi, so that the mosquitoes would bite us. In twenty liter bidon, the twenty liter uh, uh, gallons, yolo kunt, it was what they cut from the top. Overtala. And there was no cover. Mm -hmm.
And that was where we used ourselves on. You know, you went on a visit to Mile 2. But I never showed you a place called Kunta Kinte. There is a place called Kunta Kinte. There is a place they call Kunta Kinte. There is something they call Kunta Kinte. Kunta Kinte is Samba Jolo men like Kabiri be Tuabol be Samba. The 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 boat that uh, took Kunta Kinte went. Iron leg or iron leg or the iron or the iron legs that uh, they put on Kunta Kinte when they were being taken by the Europeans. Oh, the shackles. Thank you. Oh, the shackles. Okay. They are there. The first time we arrived there, those were the ones that they used, they, they put on their feet. And their hands were cuffed. We lay on the empty floor. We were in that state, which was for two or three months. While at uh, the mile two prison, were you ever tortured? They nearly killed us there at Mile 2. Who? The soldiers. Mile 2 prison officers were found. Even the Mile 2 prison officers themselves. Like who? Come to Manuel. Sefleya Jaju. Sefleya Jaju used to lead them. Mudlamin Sise. Mudlamin Sise. Tiana, but he doesn't beat people. Who else? And manga plumba. And manga plumba. There are two manga there, but Nico manga plumba. They everybody know him. There were two mangas, but if you uh, call the name manga plumba, everybody knew him. These were his torturers. Every day, new man booty. Along go every week, him nali him booty. If we were not beaten every day. Be rest assured that every week they were going to come to beat us up. And when he comes, he will tell us human dinkers, you have come to destroy this country. This was the thing he constantly said until he had a problem with Sana Sabale. Who was that? Yaya Jaju. Yaya Jaju. Sefla. 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 Why were you beaten? I don't know the reason. But by God's grace, every anywhere you go to the, in this world, uh, there are always good people. Were they torturing you because they wanted to punish you? Or were they torturing you as a defense? They were torturing you because they wanted to punish you. Or were they torturing you at the behest of somebody else? For saying, Kabri bato lipaka, bal lipaka ne ko laftal kulura leban wala mo la ya maro la atne bal lipaka. Yinka itulukan tul lipala drum. Well, I can only say that they were just beating us up to please themselves. How many times were you beaten in mile two? Nobody can come that my, my brother. I said for two years we were in shackles. Complete two years. Complete two years we were on shackles. Our feet were shackles. When Osman Baji was appointed as interior minister. When he was, uh, we came for the visit, that was when those shackles were taken off our feet. At 4.98 November. From 97 to November 98, the shackles were in our, on our feet. We lie down with them and we wake up with them. On. For two years? Complete two years, yes. Complete two years, yes. Nearly, nearly two years. Nearly two years. I want you to run us through uh, some of the torture sessions you went through at, at Mile 2. I left the Purian Samba, and I was in the city of Mile 2. I was in the court water. During our court uh, time, a prison officer saw like a Dwell Samba court. We were usually taken by prison officers. And I was in the court water, in the court begala. But at that time, when the court is on, School didn't book at Akara more for into the general. The school, the students never would, uh, would not, no, usually not go to school because Bari they nana, always wanted to see us. Nana maju because this was something that they never saw before. The torn shirts. Oh, shorts. 
Oui, oui. We had no shoes on our feet. And the chains were clinging on each other, making noise. And that was how we go, went into until we took the witness box. They never took that from our feet. And when they are taking us, they used to take us in a truck. They will, they will, they will pack the truck. Under the sun. Until around four. When the quarter uh, uh, comes to an end, when we get into the vehicle, they will tell us to lie down on the vehicle like that. We lie flat on our bellies. And, and the heat used to burn our bellies until we get to mile two. When you get to mile two and you alight, before we get into confinement, you'll be slapped and kicked and slapped and kicked until you get into the cell. We were in that state until the, our court came to an end. There has never been any day that we went to court and we were not beaten. Could you identify those that participated in torturing you? When I can uh, recall at that time, um, Jagai, Olu Mula Kebab, Jagai. Did you leader. say Jagaid? Ah, Wolo Mula Kebati. Yes, he was their leader. Special Mohol Dia Dal Nwata Abanunje. He was issued a special vehicle at the time. He was the one there. How did he torture you, Jagaid? Jagaid, he was the one there. Huh? Ata Buka Moliba. He does not beat anyone. But he was a commander. There. And when the beating <laughs> sessions were going on, he was always present, but he does not touch anyone. Would, did he have any authority to stop it? Yes, he could have done so, but he never said it. Would you say that he was an accomplice to your torture? I didn't know I didn't Well, if you see a child beating someone and an elderly person is present and that person says nothing, it means that elderly person too is part of what is happening. So tell us who tortured you in the presence of Jagaite. Um, you know at the time I did not know so the soldiers. I don't think I know anyone amongst them at the time. A very hefty guy, tall guy. He used to beat people until he would tear their shirts. Which service did he belong to? He was a Bunda Juman. I don't know what section he belonged to. Prison, army, NIA, or no, police? Prison, no, soldier, no, he was a soldier. Mm. Yes. And you want to say the fire, fire, you say captain now. And you don't have to be able to do the other back up. And one said it? Said it, said it, I think it's from say the fire. Say the fire. We, See, they say he's a captain now. We, we, we did our childhood together with him in Bakau Kashi. Oh, wonderful. He too was a big torturer. And they say now that he's a captain. Tell us, tell us why you say he was a big torturer. I saw him with my own eyes beating people. He beat me myself. Yes. Yes. So you have mentioned two people who have beaten you. Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. Amodukan. Ah. And you said the other torturers were Sefla Yaya Jaju, Modula mm -hmm. Milsise. Uh, you said Tiana did not participate. No, Tiana that is. Uh, Manga yeah. Plumba, mm -hmm. he participated. Jagaid would be there, but he would not say anything. Mm -hmm. He also was a complicity to your torture. That's yeah. what you said. Yes. Who else participated in torturing you? But they might, I think these are the only ones I know. Uh, I will not ask you about the conditions at Mile 2 prisons because we have received a lot of evidence on that. My
ma tu tara nyabe nyame ni tete nyini kala wala because nga sidi ya jamali soto wala kuwala alon tolbe je waro men na you know when when we were there ru ma tu manka ko ma tu that time mal tu was not like mal tu was otu ma hanim median babar jarol le biji that time even in the media many had you had only planks of wood to la kairo soto keta waro men ti when we had some peace was when some reprieve some reprieve was when deputy deputy commissioner jobate when the deputy commissioner jobate mo mo la mi ay bala fa soto bari nata samba parale he was someone who was very very sympathetic but he was moved to the para tele ba nu david ko to he was under the si mam si se mam meji because sisa did not spend a long time there la dun to la traje complete 6 months because our stay there for complete 6 months to be dal je january le when they are in january lu mo be yalla ngou gambe january wa ka suma be keri and everybody knows that in the month of january is usually cold in the gambia ba ni nga ya ni ni ka mbajola pour mbe mour la menna but when we ask ya ya for blankets which we will use to cover ourselves aka fo ñel financial year man so ni mo man ci mbajo te mbajo bu kana you used to tell us that the financial year has not yet uh, come and until that time comes they cannot provide blankets for us but all the marocan But through the help of God, you better not come out of my life. Bala faso rate ateka ateya manek de fat adam bajo findin mole adina. But after after six months, Jobate was someone who was sympathetic to us, and he tried and was able to secure some blankets for us. But that was only after six months. When was the first time you were allowed to see a lawyer? Sila nata so watu juma le proali a lawyer suge. Yani intu lo kolo yaje. Before we could see a lawyer, international Red Cross ni wole follow konyoji. We met with the International Red Cross, and that was uh, the first time that we started to get reprieve. Was not in our prison because when they come to the prison, officer Bukatraji, there was usually no officer. We need to see the lawyer, Kacha. And you sit with them and have a discussion. And you can you can write later. And you can also write a letter. Any letter you send to Dubai, somebody David Kole will adjudicate. And when you write a letter, yeah, they will take it to David Kole, and he will look at it. No, sir, some be the family. And then they will take it to your family. You know what? All the dollar, dollar family are called. Still, we are alive. That was the time that some uh, of us, uh, some of, some families of some of the inmates knew that they were still alive. When was the first time you met a lawyer? Chilang alnada lawyer je watu jumal. Hmm, tola lawyer je o ni nata watu la de. But na lawyer mu for Robin Sokolem bamalo. I forgot the time. Raymond Sok. Raymond Sok ha. I forgot the time, but our lawyer was Raymond Sok. Aling amate, the late amate. And the late Amate. All of all of them were first lawyers, but all of them were government lawyers. They were our first lawyers, but those were uh, government lawyers. You did not personally hire them directly. I'm going to cut off on later. Any government lawyer? No, we were given them by government through the legal aid scheme. Lang, but the alias sort of legal aid aid scheme all. All that na falie sort of. Yes. And did you see a lawyer any time in between the first three months of your of your of your arrest and sila, detention? Sila ite na tal lawyer jele alla muto follow le kab wakari sabol kono ali na tal lawyer jele ba? Tenga mera kabrimbe lawyer jele nga uli courthouse ndi lawa na rama na matu muna kana form matu mendi na na appeal court. Kala muto kono muto wakari sabol kono. We never saw any lawyer in Malto. So are you, you suggesting to us that you are represented by counsel who never spoke to you before your trial? Manda ko ba mi fokan to le ko lawyer wala be lorang le mi alon ka nene na man diamu Allah ki ti wala ko wala. Kada wala nyang kan to la time o lawyer le fam membe suna pour ko lon to le man ye mo be ki yo le farandi. Yes that was what happened pour ko katan to la pour ko fa ba lorang to le. In fact at that time you could not find any single lawyer who was uh, brave enough to defend us because everybody was terrified of the government so you were prosecuted and convicted le natal kitindi lu wa natal muta ah yes you are sentenced to what natal sorong pour nyaadi le dolam folo dolam dead sentence for the ya jamela masakunda we were the ones that were first sentenced to death under ya jamela's government that's june 20 
June, June 20, 1990. Until the court tariata, 97, the same 97. Our court, our court was, was three months. Our court, our court was very quick, not more than uh, uh, three months. And they did not allow any lawyer to be present there. No. There was no lawyer in our court until the end of You the mean what happened to Mr. Raymond Sok? Didn't he appear? Mr. Raymond Sok no court, Fatima na Yes, when we were being sentenced, he was there. How about the trial? During the trial, he was there. So what do you mean by there was no lawyer? Uh, no. I thought you know were the lawyers stood for us. This two How did you plead to the charges? What do you mean by the well, if you, you, you hear someone accepting uh, allegations, it's something that one has done. Our case was critical, counsel. Because the way our problem happened was... <laughs> Mm. When 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 uh, the, the the drummer's feet yeah. is on the, the stick that they used to beat, the drum does not make noise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't drum at all. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, uh, did you plead guilty or you pleaded not guilty? Sila ngato le mne jabi son tale yal tu mimi na fa al manson no kiti wato. Manson. We did not. But do you Except. see that you, you confessed on national television? That you did it? Most is on national but not at a court. One can accept over television, but when you go to court, the court may also be able to come to the conclusion that perhaps what he said was not through his own will. But in any case, uh, you were convicted? Yes. Sentenced to death. De dead sentence. We are sentenced to death. And this was in 1997. And 1997. Ah, 97. Yes, for how 97. many years did you serve? 19 years for nine months. I wrote 19 years, three months. I think it's 19 years, nine months, or 19 years, uh, three months. And what happened? How did you come to be released? I gave a pardon. In 2015, the pardon he, he extended. The general pardon, July 22nd, was it? General pardon, yes. We were amongst those that were pardoned. While, while serving your sentence, were you ever tortured? Ah, yes. The way my two is, I will appeal if the government should be able to do it. And we have been saying this for a long time. Ex prisoner. The ex prisoners. Even if uh, one of uh, the, the ex prisoner is not the director, but the deputy director. My two be falling nale. My two will change. But the prison prison my two prison officers will be my two. For the prison officer that had my two, cancel all the my my two two falling nola. They cannot change my two cancel. Because I can recall, many people stand here, especially director men from Bishiri. Especially the current director, a co number five cell. That he said that number five cell, ninety nine cell lebe There were ninety nine cells. What is That is not there. There twelve years like a number two, number one. I spent twelve years in number one. Not to a seven years like a number five. I spent seven years in number five. Some months and some months. Number five ninety cells lady. Number five is ninety cells. Rows row nine lebe There are four rows. You are fourth row. First row, 26 cell DBG. 26 cells are there. Uh, center row, center row, 24 cell DBG. 24 cells are there. Kampama, Kampama end, uh, 28 DBG. 28 are there. VIP, VIP, 12 DBG. 12 are there. Your coffee is 90. 
If you put that all together, it's 90. They, 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 they also have VIP? Yes. VIP, VIP old. VIP, that was where we were. Although, because of Molo, ni over Bunda to straight, ni Bunda all in Katara on your left. That is where they do. As you get inside, that's the ones on the left. What makes it so special to earn the accolade, VIP? VIP. number five. If you hear that an important person has come to number five, that is where the person goes to. That's where they take it to. That's where they take the people like Rambo. Even Halifa Sala was there. Which Halifa Sala? Halifa Sala The same one, Halifa Sala. Ahmad Baba number four. Until you know Ojele was number one. Ahmad Baba was number four. I was number number one. I was number four. I I heard there was a who who is who in mile two prison. You can have an entire cabinet. Except for the president in mile two. Other than the president. The minister of justice or the chief justice or the minister of justice was in prison. The chief justice was in prison. While I was there, the only person I did not see. The fire service standing custom. That was members of the fire service and the custom. Other than that, all others were in prison. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, for the questions. Thank you very much, Mr. Council. Thank you, Mr. Damfa. Commissioners, if you have any questions, you may please indicate. Imam C, you have the floor, please. Imam C, thank you, Damfa. We extend our greetings and also um, greet you in, uh, in for the hardships you have gone through. What I want to ask you about is the, your, the second half of your group that we are left in Tamba. What became of them? Imam Barakabak. Thank you so much, Imam. This question is very, very important. Government has a lot of means. When we had that problem in Farafeni, they did not do anything in Senegal. They said they killed some people in Gambia here and they ran and entered into Senegal. They went, arrested them there, chained them, and brought them in that fashion up to Mile 2. But God always says with the truth. They have not done wrong and uh, anything wrong, and so when they went to court, they were all acquitted. Christian, only, Christian, only Abdurrahman spent 15 years. Christian no lab from Kodolo Beji, only Abdurrahman Mako, from all that. Sangitan no rule. Tomorrow, I'm in a jam. I'll be more. 15 years. He was in jail for 15 years and he never went to court. It was an, a Christian organization. Mr. Witness, could you kindly allow for interpretation so we can have the full gist of what you said? Okay. <laughs> Pardon me, it's the machine that is heated. Thank you. Um, Commissioner Samba, you have the floor. Mr. Damfa, I have a question for you. 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 We express our sympathies for the hardship that you have gone through. May you be rewarded by God. I want to ask you about your family because well, the time that you went uh, to meet Kukoye, I don't think your family knew about your whereabouts until the time that you were taken to prison. I want you to uh, clarify that portion for me. Thank you so much, Commissioner. Well, uh, human beings' affairs are in the hands of God.
I said here earlier on that my first wife was a Senegalese. I think when I left here, until I got into all of these problems, I think it was her relatives that were assisting her. But she sat, she sat and waited. She, but then I said to my mother, someone that has sat down for six years, and here I am, I have been condemned to be killed. I have forgiven her uh, her uh, uh, freedom. If she sees a man that she wants to marry, she can go ahead and get married. But, but how they were living in terms of their sustenance, I cannot say anything about it. So, it's look like you don't have any child. I have, I had one. Uh, I had two. One died at a young age, and I only have a daughter now left. Okay, thank you very much. May she become a, a source of greater numbers for you. Commissioner Carr, you have the floor, please. Thank you, Chairman. Um, I have two questions I want to ask. The first one is you, you've interacted with Kukoy. What kind of person would you say he is? How would you describe him? Thank you so much, Commissioner. When you betray a human being, God will betray you. There is no crooked person in the whole world. There is none that I have ever seen in this world. The reason why I'm saying this to you, you take people's children and uh, thrust them in the midst of battle, you don't even consider their rights, you don't even consider their, their sustenance. You have no sympathy for them. And then you remove them from that situation and put them into yet another thing. When we were imprisoned, this your question is a very good one. Kukwe came here. He sat down with the Ajayam and they had a discussion. OJ was a newspaper. OJ was the only one who wrote it on the newspaper and we saw that. He said, how can Kukwe come and meet with the IGM when John Danfa and the others are in jail? And that was the truth. What did he say to them? He said, we are headstrong. He could not control us in Liberia. We stole his documents and we came to the Gambia. And that was not the truth. All the problems that we got into was as a result of Kukwe. So you say he wasn't a trustworthy person. He wasn't somebody that could be trusted. Yeah, in for you, you come from Mola Mati, me along with Amanke Lanamoti, Mumanya na la la. Ah, Commissioner Kaka Barak. Thank you, Commissioner Kaka. Commissioner Kaka, you come from Ajande. You are touching something here. Yeah, Jehane Kabirin Bela Liberia. You see, even while I was in Liberia, in Kambulu la alain, we used to and don't allow to God. Allow you all like I all jabi. And that prayer is what God answered. We used to say that our being here, if I told our going to the Gambia is to bring trouble or mayhem to the Gambia, let God not take us. That was our peace. If we had allowed Kukwe to have been, and he became a leader in Gambia here, it wouldn't have been good. Final question is, you mentioned that there were many Gambians who had senior positions in, in, in various factions in, in Liberia. And including um, Kukwai himself. Do you know how they came to, to Liberia and how they became so powerful there? Uh, 
Libya. Libya. You know, Mac Kuk Maktaba. Mm. Koi and uh, Chastelo both came from Libya. So it only not in Yola. They came together. But can I tell now Kuko and Talang in But don't don't uh, judge him by what I'm saying. He's a very smart individual. <laughs> The, the fighting in Liberia or the war, half of it, half of it was controlled by him. And Charles from Malta, Malta, Malta. And Charles Tello is someone who we know that. He is not like these other leaders. To push other people's children in, Charles in Charles and, and stay behind. Charles Tello from Kenya, Kido, Kido, Babu, Ala, 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 and he goes to the battlefront himself. We stopped him ourselves because he, he was, uh, the jet fighters wanted to kill him. That was, that was why we told him to stop going because he was not like others who would give others and then stay behind. Thank you and sorry for what you went through. Thank you very much, um, uh, Mr. Damfa. Two very short um, uh, questions. Mr. Damfa, in Mbarabake, Nininkar, Fula Bembul Sutumal. The spy that you encountered in the car, uh, how did you know that um, uh, she was a spy and uh, where did she come from? Any more Musunome take Benda Dakar? Idiallo Nyadi Kukulu Sunyalal. Chairman. Chairman. Thank you very much. Human being, your brain ought to be smart. God has uh, endowed a human being. It's left to you, yourself. The woman, when I set my eyes on her, where I was, I felt, I knew it. He said, she said she came to look for the marabou. But that was not her reason for coming. I said she came down from the, the, uh, the, the study building before you talk about two minutes. You know not until the arrest. These guys came to arrest us. They sent her to find out because I had a rasta hat on. They, they told her exactly. They told her go to this house. There are two individuals there and they gave them our description. So and so, no sooner has she left than this people come to arrest us. So that was why I said she was a spy. Mike, Mike. My apologies. When you went um, to Liberia with uh, other Gambians, Yajame was not in power in the Gambia. What was it that motivated you young guys to be involved in uh, um, overthrowing governments, literally causing mayhem in the sub-region, whether or not um, all of you started your activities in uh, Libya or not. Sankare, Rawlings, uh, Taylor, you name it, for the Sanko. A lot of problems um, uh, in the region. What was the motivating um, factor? Muna Muhammad Kuwaldi, member Kuwaldi, member Thank you very much. I'll start off from Liberia. Yeah, German. Yeah, Liberia Liberia is a very blessed country. Liberia thirteen county Liberia. There are thirteen counties in Liberia. And I worked traverse all of them. If you talk about iron ore, 
It's in Liberia. And if you look at the car tires, you'll see Firestone written Firestone, on them. Firestone by Liberia. Firestone is in Liberia. The largest rubber plantation in this world is in Liberia. The largest rubber plantation in this world is in Liberia. It's a diamond or Liberia. If you come to the side of diamond, it's in Liberia. Babul Kanan Africa more more Europeans used to come to capture Africans since time immemorial, and we have continuously remained in that situation, suffering and just been uh, wasted. I can tell you one thing about Liberia. The way I know Liberia, even the citizens of Liberia don't know much about that country. And my going to Liberia, maybe I can uh, uh, seek forgiveness from Gambians. But today, if uh, someone tells me, go and uh, rescue Liberians from suffering, I'll do it. I want you to listen to me carefully, sir. Liberia is for all. There is only one highway. From Bon County, uh, Ganta. From Bon County, Ganta. Ata Morovia. Going up to Monrovia. From Morovia. From Monrovia. Ata Bichama. Going to Bichama. Liberia mumu be mu beresi loleti. Liberia is all gravel road. And Liberia is a rich country. And Liberia is a rich country. Sa infimo kadaminto. So where is the resources going to? They will not allow Charles Tello to, to be in Liberia. Your this question is pleasing to me. Let us be wise as Africans. The reason why they will not allow Charles Tello to stay in Liberia, Liberia la iron ore. the iron ore of Liberia, 100 years he will sign. They said they signed a 100-year. In iron ore, I have a bank of They had a 100-year lease, and uh, it is found in three mountains. Abeye Kepa le. It's in Kepa. Gine Konakiri Asoto le. Gine Konakiri has it. Every coast has it. Every coast has it. Liberia has it. Liberia has it. Kung kwa nying the mountain. Mo si sele no jele. Someone can climb up. Sango san dimba kabu jele mo buka alon jumale. But every year, fire breaks from, from the top there, and nobody knows how the fire starts. That's Liberia mining it. The other countries have not mined. The suffering uh, that is on the people of Liberia. Who can take that off Liberia? Or will Liberians remain in this situation? And they have everything. But the white people are fooling them. When Charles Tello was in power, he controlled When Charles Tello was in power, he controlled Firestone. What was he doing there? When they used to pay you 1,000 JJ, because we use two currencies there. Our money is JJ. When we move Liberty. The one in uh, Monrovia is Liberty. So those who worked at Firestone, if they were paid 1,000, 500 would be US. 500 would be US. 500 JJ. 500 JJ. I will, I will introduce He introduced that there. The Europeans will not like this. War is not good. But war too makes other places. Africans, let's rise up and do something about our situation. There's nothing in the Gambia, but Gambia is more developed than Liberia. There's nothing in Liberia which I can admire. And whatever you think of Liberia has it. Why was it that during the course of the war, they did not uh, do the, court, uh, the, 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 the trials in Liberia and, and the elected Australian? This lady that's just left the presidency. She worked under you, she was on the UN. I read a little bit about her. Very headstrong woman, she Samuel Dori stopped her a lot. Her husband Samuel Dori is a very strong woman. Samuel Dori stopped her a lot. 
He locked her several times. And she was even supporting Charles Tello then. That was why if they want to trial Charles Tello about yeah. Liberian affairs, they realize that if they want to use that, many people will be involved. And that was why they took it to Sierra Leone. Africans, let's open our eyes. All our lives we live in poverty when in fact we have everything that we need. I think those people ought to fight to achieve their peace. They took Taylor to Sierra Leone is no longer um, a secret that uh, Sierra Leone, Tijan Kaba and uh, Ellen Johnson Salif were um, persuading um, the powers that be to move Taylor mm -hmm. from the region, from the sub-region West Africa, from Sierra Leone mm -hmm. and, um, to uh, Liberia, I mean to, to, to The Hague. Uh, I don't want to get into the thing. The council is very much aware of um, uh, what really happened in that area. But let me just ask them uh, one last um, question. Oh, sorry. The, um, the Frenchman um, um, the friendship between Jame and Taylor. When did it um, start? You guys were in uh, Liberia, and then came Liberia. to the Gambia to try to overthrow Jame. How, how did he become uh, a friend of um, uh, Charles Taylor? Uh, maybe I should have asked that question earlier. Yeah. Uh, what happened? Well, by what I heard, there's something between them. There's something between them. I don't know what it is. But what I heard that some of Charles Taylor's weapons were with Jame here. I heard that before. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. So Barniaji Jame Charles Taylor Bafal Jame Kudeta Kare Aji. But uh, if you see Chastello telling us to go back because Jamie has uh, launched a coup, I suspect that there is something between them. Uh, Mr. Chair, I think that is wild speculation, so, so we should consign it into the basket of speculation. Thank you. Absolutely. I think we know what really happened at some point. I wanted to just um, hear from you what you thought the perspective was you were on the ground. Mm -hmm. There were lots of things that uh, were coming out that uh, uh, perhaps you weren't um, uh, aware of. But again, thank you so much um, for coming to uh, testify before the uh, commission. If you have any final remarks to make, please proceed. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Praise God. I'm Mario I thank my maker three times. Since the inception of the TRRST, I don't say that it happens in the, uh, I have never, I, I have not uh, been following uh, follow, I have not been following everything but not many occasions. You are doing a good job. TRRC is not the first time it's happening. But since it was uh, established, there has been a lot of talk. You know there is something about Gambians. And that is what is uh, surprising me or, uh, about human beings. If you don't speak the truth, you will speak lies. How many years did Jawara spend here and uh, there was no TRRC that was established? If you see the TRRC being established, something happened. So, therefore, what should we do? Let us allow the TRRC to do its work and uh, holding on the belief that what happened, let it not happen again. Even God, who created human beings, he forgives.
ni alaka bulan tol noma if uh, god used to uh, follow us or the central dunia bang then at this time the whole world would have been uh, completely destroyed because every day we are doing contrary things to his wishes but god does not look at that so let the people take trc as people who come to make peace everlasting in this country many things have been said that people have been paid to go there and testify and what they say is this and this and yesterday what was happening when people have been taken to court all of that happened in the presence of all people. but no one spoke so for me what i can say to the people especially now especially gambians let us allow the trrc to do its work they are seeking for peace for this country the water that has spilled cannot be, say, be, be recovered the TRRT is seeking for the truth and they will establish the truth. So I appeal to the citizens of this country. There is a lot of talk. But let us allow the TRRC to do its work. Yes, they've been uh, selected to do their work. And they are doing a very fine job. There is one thing I want to say. I'm very surprised with Gambians. For 22 years, you don't hear anyone speak. So now everybody wants to become a Greek. Charles Taylor, this is what he used to say. He used to say that was that was his motto. He used to say when things were tough, where were you? And that is what is happening here now. Yesterday, people so were scared be, to speak. Today, everybody is a speaker. That is surprising. So I appeal to the people of the country. Let us allow the TRRC to do its work. It's peace that they want to strengthen. And we pray to God that uh, the, that the mission that they have embarked on, that He will bless them and enable them to complete it uh, in, in, to complete it well. Uh, apart from that, I will now appeal to the entire Gambian population, the citizens of this country. When you see things happening in the country, you have to say it. I uh, am aware of what was happening in Jawara's government. The election contest between Ma Sirif Diba and uh, Jawara. Gambia, Gambia was very nice then. We used to play around with each other. This is something where you had you have only one seat. Even if a hundred people are seeking for it, there is only one person who stood in it. That people unite and become one. And look out for the interest of the country. And not our individual interests. And you have more of that now in this country. It is not worth, uh, politics is not worth that. Let's come together and become people who are like from the same mother and father. Anyone, wherever you are, just uh, stay in your position. That doesn't mean that you should be enemies. Let's look at other countries and see the example, see how they are. The way they are managing their affairs. Let's also try and manage affairs in that manner. We don't have any other country other than the Gambia. Well, my travels have not been very far and wide. But I know that in Africa here, there is no country like the Gambia. The peace that we have here, 
Humanity and hospitality we have here. I don't see it anywhere else. So let's not allow politics to be a source of separation for us. All these people are only tussling for one seat, and only one person will sit on it. And whosoever God anoints is the one that will sit on that seat. After that, President Adam Barrow. President Adam Barrow. Uh, he is the head of the state. He is the one that uh, God has put in that position. Whether you hear what I say here or not. But we are people who have also suffered a lot in this country. For 19 years and several months, someone is in prison. And now you are released. And what you were charged for, others were not charged with that. Some others are there enjoying. Those who beat you up and did all sorts of things on you. Some of them are in government enjoying. So those people, they are suffering their hardship. What is it? We appeal to him to also look at our affair. We are also citizens and we suffered for the country no matter how one takes it. What whoever will take the message there whether he does it or doesn't do anything we are all beaten with the same stick. And the former president Kabri Yajame and the former president, when Yajame was uh, granting that pardon, he did not discriminate. He pardoned all the political prisoners. Let him also do the same. I think that is what should happen. I appeal to him. Since God has, has put him in a position. And he is the one that uh, God has made president. Let him think about our case too. Since we too are family, people who are families. How However it is, if you don't enjoy in one government, and there is a new government, you should also enjoy in another government. Since I left prison, this is five years, some months. I have nothing. So I appeal to him for that. Uh, lastly, many people came here. They did not say it or they have forgotten. Mile two. Mile two. Yeah, I you be. Let him look at it. Mile two. Mile two. But then I you be. I appeal to him, let him look take a Kasi, look at it. Menika Kasibala. Menika Kasibala. Those, Men who do, those who have long sentences. Let him look at their cases and have some sympathy for them. Former President Jame. Former President Jame. I record the break. He broke a record. 300 people and more he released. Some were on the death sentence. sentence. Some life sentence. Some 20 years. They are out now with their wives and children and they are engaged in their activities. So I appeal on their behalf. Let him pardon them. Please let him pardon them. Mile two is not, is not easy. Mile two is not easy. If you don't spend a long time there, you wouldn't know. Many came here to the TRRC. They spoke, but they did not talk on about the mile two. When I sit down, sometimes I want to cry. Mile two is not, is not okay at all. Especially confinement. Number five. Number five. That is a cemetery. People are there for many, many years. And human beings are not perfect. All those that are pardoned in 2015. I have not heard of one single one of them who has returned back to prison. Well, especially maybe those who do the small crimes. Small crimes. Yeah, they are all pardoned. Yeah, they Small thefts here who are taken and brought back. 
But those that were pardoned, many of them know that what they have done, they regretted it. So I appeal to the president to look at them because mile two is not a good place. Those who have been there for a long time, let him have mercy for them and release them. This is my statement. Thank you very much um, for those remarks, um, Mr. Danfa. Mr. Danfa. The first three points that you mentioned concerning the TRRC, that uh, there is a lot of talk um, around in the country. Well, this is the era of um, free speech and uh, free expression. They can say whatever they want to say. But we have been saying from this um, uh, hall here that there is um, a tremendous public support um, for the commission. And the work that it, it is doing. And it's not just um, uh, limited um, to what is going on here in the Gambia. But our friends and partners outside are also following the developments here. In so I think there is some support for the work that we are doing. And the second point, those who allege that um, witnesses are paid to come here i wish we had money to do that <laughs> and uh, um, the last point um, uh, since our establishment we have not had any interference from the authorities um, here we do our work we cooperate with them uh, uh, them in the areas that we would need to cooperate with them, but interfering with the work, uh, no, they are allowing us to do our work very freely. Uh, everybody would hear it if there is any interference um, with what we are doing. But again, thank you so much um, for your testimony. And for um, coming to uh, uh, appear before us. This brings us um, to the end of the proceedings um, for today. We will resume tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock. Thank you all very much. The meeting is adjourned.